passion, with purpose, and you've shown how you, how you overcome adversity. You remember in the finals when Raven, on her second try, dropped the shot, and then she came right back to compete and to throw her personal best and end up fifth best in the entire world. We are just overcome with that accomplishment. And when, you know, under all that pressure and the TV cameras and, you know, people all around the world are watching you, she did her very best, her very best to get 19.35 meters. That was the best you had ever done. So what a great example that is for us. God bless you. Wow. First off, I'd like to thank all of you guys for being here. I remember just like yesterday sitting in those chairs, man. But uh, thanks to the city and all of the kids here, honestly, looking at y'all faces, y'all were part of the reason that I got through it. Because uh, as I was competing, I was like, I got so many kids back at Burke High School especially who looking at me saying, wow, she was here. She was sitting in this desk, sitting in this auditorium, this cafeteria. And I wanted to set that example for you guys. So thank you for that. Right. One thing I would say, I had a lot of really great teachers that stayed on me, you know, from Mr. Fields, Mrs. Scruggs, you know, joking around with Mr. Hill, uh, you know, Ms. Perino, Mr. Perino. You know, I had a lot of teachers that really st stuck on me and Ms. Walton and things like that who really, I guess, saw the potential in myself before I knew it. And that really helped, helped me out a lot. It's really unbelievable. Um, traveling the country, the world, things like that, you know, a lot of places that many people uh, don't get to go and see. And I mean, if you see my Facebook page or anything, you see like how nice it was out in Rio and things like that. It's only one thing that I wish everyone in this room would get a chance to experience. When I look at the big picture and seeing how senior year, after my junior season, I was ranked 570 in America. And now just three years later, I'm ranked number five in the world. You can't be mad. <laughs> You know, I, I still represent and things like that. I love my city. You know, I love my people. I love everything that makes us unique. Um, you know, my accent when I go out, a lot of people don't understand me, so I usually only use it when I'm home. But, I mean, I love Charleston to death. You know, this place made me into who I am. And for the rest of my life, I really look forward to trying to help kids out and finding their passion and their goals and their, what they want to do in life. The same as, you know, I had a lot of mentors here to help me. If there's something out there you think that you could be good at, go out and give it your all, man, because you, you never know what's going to happen. Had I not picked up a shot put, I wouldn't be here right now. But, you know, so many times that I wanted to give up, I wanted to quit, because I know y'all, football, basketball, cheerleading practice, you have those days where you're like, man, I can't do this no more. I'm, I'm done. But you got to dig, because you know how great it feels once practice is over with, and you now got a good workout in, and you're like, man, we're on the way to state. We're on the way to a title. We're on the way to the region championship. Like, that feeling is, is, is so amazing in the very end. And looking back and you seeing how hard you worked, you know that you deserved it. Now, therefore, be it resolved that I, John J. Tecklenburg, mayor of the city of Charleston, do proclaim this day, Thursday, August 18th, 2016, as Raven Saunders Day in the city of Charleston. Yeah. Yeah.